How's everyone doing? So I have guinea pig here, and this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, but hell, I got the hardware. I might as well use it. It's an old CRT right here, right in our living room. You can see that up there in uh, Nintendo 64. Mm, we got the HD TV sitting up there. And look at our dinos. We got dinos. I hope my finger wasn't covering the microphone just then. But anyway, I want to show off some things. That, that I think that'll work. Look at our movies, too. Everdrive sitting right here. I don't even know what I want to do first because... Look, I also got this. It's a transfer pack. And I have an Everdrive here, but we also got... We also got a handful of uh, real cartridges, too. So... There's no real reason to break them out. But, uh, alright. And hopefully... Hopefully... You're getting a whole lot of glare from this little lamp back here. Let me fix that. There we go. Much better. Just want to show off some hacks and stuff real quick. There's no way I'm getting this thing on any kind of real recording hardware. But you know what? I don't really care because, you know, just seeing it in the camera, which I hope is coming in all right. I hope it's coming in all right. It seems to be. Uh, you know, I got like every single N64 US ROM here. And Game Boy, Game Boy Color, NES. But, first of all, I think I'm going to do Portal 64. I already did this game before. That's... Hold up. There's supposed to be, like, sound? Oops. Uh-huh. Alright. So you get to do this on real hardware. On a period appropriate CRT too, nonetheless. Oh, all right. Yeah. Hello, and again. Uh, GLaDOS, you're too loud. Wow, well, we hope you appreciate the tension in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that all the fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment centers. I do activities. think Serious injuries may this is a period appropriate, like late 90s, early 2000s TV. I'm not 100% sure, but... It's older than some of y'all looking at it right now. So is this game, honestly. The original Portal. That's weird to think about. Also, that's just, like... This dude... It sucks that he couldn't... Uh... That he couldn't make the whole game on here, but at the same time... Like, I think this is an accomplishment in itself. R button. Okay, so... The thing is, in order to play, uh, in order to play first-person games, most of the time, with the N64 controller, you can hardly, it's like a cool silhouette, it looks like. But, uh, you use the joystick to look around, and I have it set to inverted because that's how I'm used to with the N64 controller. And you use the C buttons to move. And it's not 
it was pretty intuitive at the time. I mean, what else you ha what else you got? <laughs> the two joysticks, you know. I mean, uh, Goldeneye had the whole two joystick thing. I'm sure there were other games too. James Lambert, I think his name was, the guy who made this. And if you don't know, um, Valve cease and desisted this game. Ah. Anyway, Valve cease and desisted this game. Because they were afraid that Nintendo was going to give them shit. Because, like, you know, Nintendo's like that sometimes. Quickly to the as the Timing based puzzles are a little bit tough to with this, uh, this with this control scheme, I won't lie. You can get used to it. You can get used to it. I mean, anyone who's ever played anything like GoldenEye, Turok... Hi Kitty! Stinky! That's his name. His name's Stinky. I'm not even kidding. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi rare cases, emancipate hey. single fillings of enamel and teeth. That's not ominous at all, is it? No, the frame rate is very good. Unbelievably stable too. Like it's not perfect. Portal device. With it, you can create your own portal. But it is it's just really cool that I can even do this. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Oh, yeah, Do eight not minutes. Submerge the device in liquid, okay. even partially. Most I'm just using my phone. I don't, I don't have any fancy setup. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Find the gap. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day. Stinky, what are you doing? Stay out of there. Being bad, like cats do. As cats do. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Seriously, you can like squint your eyes and like well, I was gonna say you could like squint your eyes and then this would be nearly indistinguishable from the original version. There, there, there's some physics happening. Once again, no, you get on. You, uh, I think. We will not monitor That's the interesting. That is interesting. On your own. Good luck. Huh. Alright, well it's behaving now, but that's... That's interesting. That's like an interesting look into like how the physics engine works in this version. I was following this guy's videos making this. 
since about the beginning. Like, it's just fascinating. He basically made it from scratch. Alright. Yank. A is for blue portal. B is for green portal. But you won't... You only get to have the dual portal gun for a brief moment. Because that's when the, uh... That's when the demo ends. A little bit sad, but honestly, there are much better ways to play this. Uh. Okay, what is happening? So, I think I broke it. I think I broke it. <laughs> oh, that's great. I am so sorry. The litter box is like right over there. So that's, that's what he's doing. I, I guess I just soft locked myself. Maybe. No. Yeah. Soft locked. <sighs> anyway. Well, that's that. What else we got here? Feek Malin. Feek. I just thought it was funny. Uh, also James Lambert's uh, Mega Texture. Like, yeah, it's... Which is... It's trippy. Stinky, you butthead. Ah! That was a noise. Alright, you can't even, like, it's too bright. You can't even hardly see what's going on. Because this camera... This phone camera! But I have another video of me playing that for like 20 minutes straight. And it's literally just looking around in that one room. I was trying to evoke the sense of liminality. But, like, no one watched the dang video, so... Uh, what else? Mario Star Road. This is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, so this is one of the, uh, oldest and most... Oh, this is one of the oldest and most popular Mario 64 ROM hacks that was converted by Kaze. Kaze? Kaze? I don't even think he knows how to pronounce it. And, uh, he ported it so that it can work on real hardware like this. It's not perfect. And you'll see here in a second, like, you know, there, there, there's a little bit of, uh, little bit of graphical fuckery going on there, but other than that, it is, for all intents and purposes, it's the full game. You can play it. I think, I think he turned off the, uh, Nintendo 64's bilinear filtering, which might look, I, I, I sort of think it would look better with the bilinear filtering, at least when using an old TV like this. Uh, I think I've tried this one before. I think I'm gonna save the Pokemon Stadium one for another video. That's gonna be its own video. <laughs> it might end up being... Holy crap! You really can't see much of what's going on. Hold on, hold, hold on. You're getting like... You're not... Uh, well, that don't help. Technical difficulties. Oh, 
Oh, now it wants to look right. For fuck's sake. Wake up, Mario. Away with you. But yeah, this is this is really neat. I don't know. I'll splice this video with the other video. I'll, I'll stick them together. And maybe try and edit it so that it looks a little better whenever it's like too bright. Crap. Alright. I mean this isn't this isn't meant to be a very long video, honestly. Uh Smash Remix, here we go. I did not grow up with Super Smash Bros. Melee. I had the Nintendo 64 version growing up, and then much later I had the 3DS version. But... Yeah, I don't have Smash Ultimate on the Switch, unfortunately. Alright. Anyway, Mewtwo, Jigglypuff, why would I play as any of the regular characters? I've got two links to choose from. King DDD, 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 Sonic. That is specifically the uh, Sonic Adventure 1, not the DX version, where they made them like too realistic and uncanny compared to the rest of the game. Ah, buddy. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I haven't played this much yet. Well, that was smart. Oh, well. Down, the down B makes sense. said it has been a while but also like what the hell Sonic doing on my Nintendo 64 I, I don't know like growing up in the 90s this this game already blew everyone's mind enough as it was the original one mm, I clutch why aren't I think Sonic just sucks in this game. Let's try someone else. Maybe not. Maybe I just suck. Uh, Ganaldo? Captain Falcon? Mario? Or Dr. Mario? Marina for Mischief Makers, another game I've been meaning to give a try. Wolf from Star Fox? Conquer? We'll, we'll do Conquer. He's got a chainsaw. Ah, oh, the death, the hand of death. Ah. 
Oh. Grenade. Ah, there we go. It's up sm- Oh, hel- uh, helicoptery tail thing. Ah. Uh, much better. Oh, why am I sucking this bad at Smash 1? Alright, okay. Get down there. No, you're screwed. And then he T poses in victory. Yoshi Army. Wait, how do I do the chainsaw? I want to do the chainsaw. There's something fucked about, like... <laughs> freaking... Conquer being laid down by, like, the hand of death into this super happy Yoshi's Island world. See, look at that. Now... <laughs> look at that. Now I'm just... tearing through them. Oh, that's how it, the chainsaw is combo. Ah. Nice. Yeah, I definitely plan on doing more videos like this in the future. I think next time, though, I'm going to get my actual microphone and record my voice using, uh, Audacity instead. Because I don't, I have no clue how I'm going to sound here until I'm done recording. Should have probably thought of that before I started and did, like, a test recording, but oh well. first Smash Bros. game was absolutely mind-blowing. And it was all just regular Nintendo characters. Like, I don't, I can't remember, I think it was, I think it was, uh, Brawl on the Wii that started introducing, like, you know, non-Nintendo characters. I could be wrong, though. Hey, come here. Smart. There we go. That that's always satisfying. Always satisfying to do that. Ooh. All right. I did. I, hmm. Well, don't sound so disappointed in me. Dang, you sound like my dad. I'm kidding. My dad's fine. Why did I immediately go for Donkey Kong, even though he's supposed to be my friend? I really, really, really wish that it would have, like, sprayed pixely blood when he did that. <laughs> the chainsaw. <laughs> like, just absolutely out of place, even in this game.
At least as an option. Like, it's a, it's a ROM hack already. Might as well go all out. I just think it would be funny. Get him, Donkey Kong. Thank you. How very polite of you. Well, see, some people listen. Good friend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, this this sort of reminds me of like the cut scene. The the uh cut cut scene in Conquer where like the weasel mobster like killed a Pikachu. I'll show it. Hang on a second. Come here. Where are you little bastard? <laughs> Come here! Uh, missed! Come here! <laughs> Got away again. Sorry about that. But you know how it is. You gotta catch them all. Bye! But... This is so cool. It really is. And you know what? I love the Nintendo 64 controller. I know it gets a lot of shit. It gets a whole lot of shit because of its weird shape, but... And I mean, some people, you know, they joke about it like, Are you supposed to have three hands with it or what? Look, I don't know what Nintendo was thinking with this thing either, but there there are no games where you have there are like almost I can't think of any games anyway where you have to use the D-pad and the joystick. It's either one or the other, and sometimes sometimes in certain shooter games you can use the uh, joystick and you can use a controller like this. And for like you know left-handed people or people who are more used to playing shooters like this. As opposed to like this. But anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hopefully will be doing more content like this in the future. But for now. I know it's been a while. I used to be uploading like every single day. At least once or twice. Some things have been going on. Life's been difficult lately. Moved back in with my brother, had a loss in the family and all that. It's no fun. But you can only be sad and mope for so long. But, anyway. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy this.